ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فان خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار my dear brothers in islam it is natural that we always try to remember who do good for us and we often mention them in our gathering with a good name but it's strange that allah subhanahu wa taala the one who created us the one who provides for us and the one because of who we are here in this world we always forget him whereas if we always remember allah subhanahu wa taala this will be for our own benefit we can get lots of benefits by remembering allah subhanahu wa taala number 1 for example as allah subhanahu wa taala says fa dhukuruni adhkurukum washkuru li wa la takfurun remember me <coughs> and i will remember you and be grateful to me do not be ungrateful so if we want allah to remember us especially in our hard times then always remember allah subhanahu wa taala if we remember allah subhanahu wa taala he will remember us in a hadith from sahih bukhari in a hadith of qudsi prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says allah subhanahu wa taala says he gives a guarantee allah subhanahu wa taala says i am with him i am with my servant when he remember me it means we have to believe that when we remember allah subhanahu wa taala it means that he is with us with his help with his mercy with his favor and allah subhanahu wa taala says if he remembers me in himself in our in our heart i remember him in myself and he if he makes mention of me in a gathering i make mention of him in a gathering better than it and if it draws near to me, me a hand span length i draw near to him a four arm length and if he comes to me walking i go towards him in a hurry so dear brothers allah subhanahu wa taala is with us it means that his mercy and his help is with us if we remember allah subhanahu wa taala and the second thing is the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in a hadith from sahih and for sahih bukhari and muslim he gave an example of the houses two houses the house in which allah subhanahu wa taala is remembered and the house in which allah subhanahu wa taala is not is not remembered and then he said they are like a living or a dead person mathal al bayt alladhi yudhkaru allah fihi wal bayt alladhi la yudhkaru allah fihi mathal al hayy wal mayyit what's the meaning the house in which allah is remember through the nawafil through the recitation of the quran and through the zikr and through the daily duas daily duas the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that this house in this house the people who they are living they are alive they are not dead people they are alive and a house where there is no salah you don't hear any kind of recitation of the quran and the many weeks pass by on them and they don't read any nawafil they don't do any zikr they don't do any dua they don't children their children any duas so muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that this kind of house that occupied by dead people the people who they are living they are not alive they are dead people and whenever you see you visit them 
you can see the atmosphere that there is a shaitan, shaitan living there. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he said that the, the, the people who they are living, they are dead people, means they, uh, this house is not a house, it's not a home, it's a graveyard. Because the graveyard, the people who they are living there, they are dead people. And the alive people, they don't live there. And the homes with, in, which, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always remembered, yes, there is no doubt, the shaitan stay there. The shaitan loves to stay there. Because when there is music, dramas, films, always you can listen. The shaitan lives there. And there, the shaitan, the shaitan sorry, the shaitan, the shaitan can't stay there. In which the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remembered, Shaitan can't stay there. And the angels, they come and go for in, in these houses. In these houses with the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the people in such homes, you can see, are always, you can see in peace, in love. They love each other. They are in peace. Huh? You, you can feel the atmosphere of the peace there. But... The home that they, the people who they don't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they become homes of shaitan. Because shaitan likes these homes where there is no recitation of the Quran, where there is no nawafil, where there is no duas. Huh? These people, they cannot get any kind of blessing, <coughs> any kind of barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these homes, you can might see, these homes might seem like, mashallah, beautiful, very well Mashallah, beautiful houses, well decorated, but you can't feel any peaceful atmosphere there. Nor you find such people in these homes who they are loving each other, who they are respecting each other, who they are caring each other. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَعَشُوا عَنْ ذِكْرِ الرَّحْمَانِ نُقَيِّذْ لَهُ شَيْطَانًا فَهُوَ لَهُ قَرِينٌ That's the Quran says, who, who, whosoever ignores and turns away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious, we appoint for him, shaitan, to be his companion. His companion can be, will be a shaitan with him. And the third benefit, brothers, is that if we constantly remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so we will be in, in the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us his protection and all the time in our iman and in our worldly matters as well. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in a hadith of Qudsi, Ana maa abdi, is hadith from Sahih Bukhari, Ana maa abdi idha dhakarani wa taharrakat bi shafatahu. When a person remembers me with his tongue, I am with him. I am with him with my help, with my mercy. Mercy with my support. In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu said, if you remember Allah in your good days, there is no worries, there is no problems for you, and still you remember Allah. You don't forget Allah. So then, Muhammad sallallahu says, Allah will remember you in your bad day, in your bad time, in your hard time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, will remember you. And we know the, about Yunus alayhi salatu was salam. The, the, mashallah, the best example, Yunus alayhi salatu salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about him, فَلَوْلَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ لَلَبِثَ فِي بَطَنِهِ إِلَىٰ يَوْمٍ يُبْعَثُونَ In Surah Al-Safat, that if my servant, Yunus, was not among those who remembered me by glorifying me, then he would have remained inside the <coughs> whale's stomach till the day of judgment. And as you know that, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Yunus alayhi salatu was salam even from inside the whale's stomach because he used to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his good days. He used to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his good time. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remembered him in his hard time. So brothers, we have to tally ourselves that do we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just in our good time or just we want to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our hard times? Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ari al-muslimina min kulli dhamb fa astaghfiruhu innahu wal ghafoorul rahim.
الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه اجمعین اللہ سبحانہ وتعالیٰ سیز حتى اذا جاء احدهم الموت قال رب ارجعون لعلی اعمل صالحا فيما ترکت on the day of judgment the people who are destined for the hellfire for hellfire they will say to Allah they will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh Allah oh please oh Allah send us back to the world so that we can do good deeds good deeds they will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to return return home that not so they can enjoy the pleasure of this world as they used to do while they were they were in this world but rather they are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send them back to do good deeds they are they want to do good deeds so we can un un understand the importance of the good deed but these people they did not use this opportunity of this world when they were alive huh? mashallah whereas doing good deed was very very easy for them and usually we think that doing good deed is very hard no doing good deed brother it's very easy we can do good deed within our heart we can do good deed with our tongue as well as the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says he is giving an example he says in a hadith from tirmizi this is a sahih hadith he says that once he said should i not inform you the best of your deeds the best of your deeds and the purest of them with your lord and the highest of them in your ranks and better for you than, than spending the gold and silver and better for you than meeting your enemy. Sahaba says, of course. Then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa says, that's the good deed is remembrance of Allah. Remembrance of Allah. If you remember Allah in your heart, if we remember Allah by our tongue, it is not only good deed. According to this, to this hadith, this is the best of our deed. This is the purest of our deed. And this is the highest of our deed in the, in the ranks. And this is the better, this is the best deed. And better than spending the gold and silver in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the, our problem is that, mashallah, we have lots of spare time, brother. Lots of spare time. So, but we don't want to use why don't we use this time to do dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of wasting hours and hours on the mobile, on the social media, on other things. So we can, we have to use this time. And that, that's, I, as I mentioned, doing dhikr is not take your time. You don't have to spare your time so much. You can do dhikr. That like for example, the best dhikr is the five times daily prayer. The best dhikr, the five times daily prayer and the nawafil, and the restriction of the Qur'an as well, and as well as the du'as that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he taught us the du'as for the morning, for the evening, and for the certain actions before and after, certain actions. Like for example, if we have, we have to learn the du'as, what we have to do before the meat, the eating, and after we finish the meal, and before we enter, when we enter the house, when we leave the house, when we go to bed, when we wake up in the morning, when we dry our car, all, there are lots of things that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa taught us. So as a Muslim, if we learn these du'as, and if we practice it, and if we say these du'as, it means that we are remembering Allah always. We are remembering Allah in 24 hours. That's the main thing, brother. If we do that, Insha'Allah, we will, we will be among those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember us. Amma ba'ad, fa'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahima wa ala ali Ibrahima innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكوننا من الخاسرين ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة 
innaka antal wahhab Allahumma inna na'udzubika min jahdil bala'i wa darkish shiqa'i wa su'il qada'i wa shamatatil a'da' Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim wa tub 'alaina innaka antat tawwabur rahim wa sallallahu ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama taslima kathira